Namaskar. Hello and welcome to Pay Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. This is a special transmission. Something interesting has happened. Something very interesting. Something very good for the Hindus of North America. I would say US first and then probably uh, this is going to propagate itself in my opinion to Canada also. What really happened? Well, the uh, there are five Indian origin congressmen, women in the United States of American Congress. Which are those? Raja Krishnamurti, Ro Khanna, Pramila Jaipal, Ami Bera and Sri Thaneza. Well, all of them have come together to express their concern about the Hindu phobia being exhibited across the country and what the Department of Justice, which is the apex body that has <clears throat> a group called the Civil Rights Division, what are they going to do about it? So I'm going to show you the letter and I'm going to, this was led by Congressman Raja Krishnamurti and I, my my sincere thanks to him and also to the other four congressmen women who signed on to this. So I'm going to show you the letter and you can see what this means. There are some underlying things and I'm going to touch upon that right after we go through the letter. Here we go. Christian Clark is the name of the Civil Rights Division of U.S. Department of Justice and dear Assistant Attorney General Christian Clark, we have observed an alarming increase in incidents of vandalism at houses of worship across the country, including at Hindu mandirs, temples, we, the undersigned members of Congress of South Asian descent, write to request a briefing from the Department of Justice on the status of investigations co concerning these crimes to better understand existing law enforcement coordination between local agencies, the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Civil Rights Division. Attacks at Mandis from New York to California have contributed to increased collective anxiety among Hindu Americans. Leaders from these impacted communities have expressed there are for unfortunately no leads on suspect, leaving many to continue to live in fear and intimidation. Our communities remain concerned about law enforcement coordination regarding these bias motivated crimes and they are left wondering if there is appropriate federal oversight to ensure equal protection under the law. I mean, it goes on to say, what they are asking is, given the urgency of the situation, we ask that you provide us with a briefing no later than Thursday, the 18th of April. That is two, uh, 17 days from now. Now, <clears throat> some things I want to clarify here. What is this year? This is an election year. What do people who are running for Congress need? Funding. So, is this another one of those where these five congressmen women are writing this letter in support of uh, Hindus to the DOJ saying that, well, we need to go raise money and our community will not give us any funding unless we express our support to them. And then once the money is taken, pictures are taken, they have come back, they'll forget about this and go on. Well, the decision is in the hands of Indian Americans, you and I, all those of us who are living in the United States. Don't just give the money and stand for a photograph and then be, you know, happy and hang it in your uh, living room. That's not enough. What you have to do is maybe you, have, you can do a split payment. Some now, some later upon successful completion. What would be the successful completion? A resolution is passed uh, on Hindu phobia uh, and, and a definite set of actions that the CRD, Civil Rights Division, commits to and follows through. Only then can we say that this is a serious attempt by the uh, South Asian origin. I don't like that. It's Indian origin. Come on. There is not a single uh, congressman, woman from Pakistan or Bangladesh. Don't try to dilute it by saying South Asian. These are all the things that, you know, Democratic Party has really descended into. I, I don't like that. Anyway, so this is the crux of the thing. Is it just an election gimmick or do they believe really in the cause of justice for the Hindus? of uh, United States. Who are the people again? Raja Krishnamurti, Ro Khanna, Shri Thanedar, <coughs> Jais, uh, J Pramila Jaipal and Ami Bera. We know that Ami Bera has in the past done other stuff like, I mean, he, he calls himself an atheist. So, uh, and, and Pramila Jaipal is as left as it gets, progressive cheerleader. I don't know how she has turned around. That's what makes me a little bit doubtful. Raja Krishnamurti, I'm not uh, uh, doubting at all. He's a he's a good man. I mean, he's he'll tell you whether he likes it or not like it. Same with Rokhana. I, I and Sri Thanedar. 
also has been very solid in supporting Hindus. The other two, well, they have come around. They are now asking uh, that there will be some things will be that will be done. We have to wait and see how this goes. There's one thing in the letter that I don't quite agree with. There are many places, many of them have CCTV cameras. Though I'm sure they had footage of who came and vandalized their places of worship. Did the investigative agency go and talk to the people, ask for the video within 24 hours? Because some of these videos are like the right over itself, like four days, five days is all they'll have. And then they'll start writing over itself. So the evidence gets lost. So they should have gone immediately and asked for CCTV footage so that they could find out and investigate. I think nothing has happened. So essentially, all this has been brushed under the carpet with the expression that this is freedom of expression. This is not freedom of expression. Uh, denigrating somebody's place of worship is wrong. And it is believed that some lumpen elements are uh, have indulged in this. And the proof is there. The proof, if they really ask for, I'm sure some of these temples will provide. Because some of them are very wise. They know that whenever the FBI comes asking for information, we need to be able to have it. So maybe they are taken a backup. I don't know. But I do know this for sure. After the attack started about two, three years ago, everybody has a CCTV camera. They have adequate footage. Whether they went and asked for it, whether they lost it in the process of recording over it, I don't know. But this is a first step. And, and this is now two years now, close to over a period of two years, all this has happened. So we have to wait and see what the FBI does, what the local police agencies do, and what the DOJ does. Certainly, DOJ needs to put its muscle behind this and make sure that Hindus of some United States feel safe and secure. Remember, Hindus are among the highest tax paying uh, people in this country and they are the most law abiding citizens. And I'm, I'm trying to see if there are any questions here. I don't, there are, there's one question here. Let me just take care of that one. Varag wants to know why are millions of Hindus settled in USA not writing letters to or doing anything? Even the US based Pakistanis have organized behind. IK. We need to learn. Yes, indeed, we have to learn. The whole idea of doing P gurus and all the videos that we have been doing is, is because of that, that someone needs to get this movement going. And that's what P gurus did. We were in the at the forefront of uh, telling people what the SB 403 will do to Californians. And that's why that got dropped by the governor. And we were at the forefront explaining why CAA is good for everyone. And that it helps those who are being persecuted on a daily basis in countries like Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yet people keep persisting because, you know, India and Indians, they don't have a lobby. There isn't one guy going every week to every congressman or congresswoman saying that, look, you haven't done this, you haven't done this. You need persistence, you need effort, you need to have dollars so that you can keep contributing to them. Tell them that unless you do this, we can't give you the next tranche. That needs to be there. The character and the stick. It, you have to do it. That's the way the game is played by others. People like, you know, Department of State spokespersons are bleedily lying. I mean, you, I hope you saw my last, uh, last night's hangout at 10.30 p.m. with an ex-IRS officer, uh, currently an advocate, about how the Congress income tax issue has been having, uh, has been going on since 2001. 23 years. Come on now, you can't tell them that now it is tax terrorism. See, these things have to be rebutted. And who is rebutting it? Only P. Gurus is doing it. Because we feel that we owe it to the truth. We need the truth to come out. We stand for the truth. Anyway, so that's all I have for now. Viewers, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also, please share this particular video. Because this is just out, uh, barely um, hours old. And it is expected that there will be some more follow-up actions that will happen. So stay tuned. Please watch P Gurus. And for those of you who may not know about this, please do share and forward our videos to your among your WhatsApp groups and among Facebook and other social media platforms. We know that we are a big presence in YouTube, Facebook, as well as on other platforms such as Telegram. But we would appreciate it very much if you can do your little bit because this is essentially 
the first step in a big, big journey. And, and those of you who contribute, who donate to all these campaigns, make sure that you get your money's worth. Thank you once again. Namaskar.